hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to see how to fix the issue with valorant where the game is stuck at loading screen or map loading screen let's fix it guys you just need to right click on the valorant and select properties you just need to select in run click on this drop down and select minimized go to compatibility tab and you just need to check mark run this program as an administrator select apply and ok for save changes if you have installed any third-party antiviruses such as Avast, AVG or McAfee, make sure to temporarily disable it and try to launch the game and check if the problem solved or not. If not, let's move on to the next solution guys. You just need to go to search menu and type Windows Futures. Comes up Windows Futures on or off. You just need to open it. In here you need to uncheck four futures guys. One is Hyper-V and next search for Visual Machine Platform, uncheck it and next Windows Hyperizer Platform, uncheck it and now Microsoft Defender Application God, uncheck it and after doing this, click on OK to save changes and it will request you to restart your PC go ahead and restart your PC after restarting your PC, check if the problem solved or not if not, let's move on to the third solution guys. You just need to right click on the start icon and select run. In run window, you just need to type in cpa.cpl. Click on OK. Right click on the internet you are using it. In my case, I am using Ethernet. Right click on it and select properties. Select IPv4 and select properties. And in here, you just need to select use the following DNS server addresses. In preferred DNS server, you just need to type 8888 8, 8, 8. and alternative DNS server, you just need to type 8844. 8, 4. This is Google DNS guys. After typing it, click on OK to save changes. Close it off here and go ahead and restart your PC. After restarting your PC, check if the problem solved or not. If not, let's move on to the fourth solution guys. You just need to open up File Explorer. You just need to go to a local disk C and now write games, open the write games folder and now open the Valorant folder and live and now manufacture debug file. You just need to right click on it and delete it. After that, close it off here. Now check if the problem solved or not. If not, let's move on to the final solution guys. You just need to go to search for and type CMD, right click on the command prompt and select run as administrator and select as. Yes. Now in the command prompt, you just need to type sc space delete space vgc press enter. After doing this, you just need to type sc space delete space vgk press enter. After deleting this both services, you just need to close it off here and go ahead and restart your PC guys. After restarting your PC, you just need to open up file explorer and go to local disk C and double click on the program files folder and now search for write vanguard you just need to right click on it and select delete it guys one more thing friends you cannot be delete the folder until you restart your system that's why I can't able to delete this folder you just need to go ahead and restart your PC after restarting your PC delete this write vanguard folder after doing this, close it off here. Now you just need to open up right client. Now you just need to select the update option in Valorant. Select it. After getting update complete, you just need to check if the problem solved or not. I hope one of these solutions fixed your problem guys. If the video helped you, don't forget to leave a like guys. You can also subscribe me and support me guys. Thank you.